Welcome back to another episode of Mr. Cho's Garage. Here today we we're working on a 2014 Mazda 5. Uh, this um, customer has complained about a, uh, a noise when backing up. So um, anyway, we're just going to dive right into it. Let's fire this thing up here and uh, let's see if we can duplicate the problem. Because if we can't duplicate it, we can't fix it. So anyway, here we go. I'm getting nothing. Hang on. Let's try this again. Uh, I know uh, when I first got in the vehicle and did it, when it was cold before it was driven, because uh, I've already driven the vehicle to, uh, um, you know, get it here. Um, so uh, when the brakes got warm, the problem went away. So it did make the noise uh, right off the get-go when it was cold. Um, so I think that, you know, that can definitely um, make it a little trickery trying to diagnose this but I already have a, a game plan going on the uh, procedure of uh, trying to remedy this issue but I'm trying to duplicate the noise uh, for the uh, the audience so let's try this again here it happens uh, while backing up only uh, under very light braking like in a parking lot and you're just kind of creeping back it, it, it ain't going to do it. I'm sorry. I, I can't make it do it. Um, but it goes, you know, something like that. Um, you know, like cats fighting. Uh, it's kind of hellacious. But anyway, um, I'm sorry I can't duplicate the problem, but we're going to go ahead and dive into it because uh, um, I, I got a very good idea of uh, the remedy issue. Um, so anyway, um, Hang on, I'm gonna uh, pause this thing and I'm gonna get jacked up and, and get back into the video and um, and let you know what uh, my hypothesis is. Stand by. And we're back in it. So I got this here Moz all jack. I got my uh, jack stands underneath. It's uh, resting on the jack stands. Um, with a little bit of pressure on the jack. Give it a little extra something, something. Keep me safe. Mr. Cho, don't want to die and get crushed by them uh, cheapo jacks. Uh, jack stands um but anyway so uh back at it here we go so i got one lug nut left on here so i could just give you guys a a quickie on this here so um when you uh are doing a first uh diagnosis of a vehicle take a little time check it out uh give it the old shake -a you know shake it down spin it make sure there's not anything that's loose or falling apart or uh, bad bearing or something like that. Um, and this is also gonna de determine if you got maybe a brake hanging up, you know, if you got a, a squealing issue or some kind of a rotational noise that you can't pinpoint. Um, uh, spin that tire and the, you know, this one here is a front wheel drive vehicle. So uh, the rear well, wheels just have bearings in there. And so there's no axles back there, but you know, you might have to jack the whole vehicle up if it's all wheel drive to be able to get the drivetrain to rotate. Um, best as possible some don't like to rotate uh, very much at all but anyway so I grab a hand on top hand on bottom and then I I do a push pull to do uh, for any kind of like a bad uh, lower ball joint control arm bushing so it's like a push pull oh god dang god dang oh I dropped my phone I need camera man. okay so uh, the, uh, the the push pull and then the side side so I'm feeling for anything that might be loose. And then the old spinneroo. Got nothing. So that's a, a good way to um, try and, you know, diagnose a rotational issue. If you got a bearing, sometimes it's it's pretty pronounced and you can hear it. Um, sometimes you, you can't. But that, you don't give up. Just, you know, it's like Mr. Cho, you just, you just go for it and you get it done. Because that's how we get down. Um, but anyway, so... There's no brakes hanging up on this thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and rip this here tire off the rest of the Okay, cold day. Okay, so um, here on this brake system, um, right here, dead giveaway, we have the spring on the caliper with the park brake cable coming up here. So uh, when you rip that e-brake handle and you're doing the e-brake the, uh, the e turns, 
uh, you're, you're pulling on this guy and it's going to engage your caliper. So this is what you call a parking brake integrated caliper. So it's not a in the hat style um, shoe system where you have like uh, drum shoes that actually press on the rotor themselves. So it's integrated in the caliper. So we know right there that uh, the backing up brake noise is not going to be uh, an in the hat style uh, brake system. So we can just eliminate that one right off the get go. So um, everything's uh, pretty free on this guy. So tell me that the, the brakes aren't hanging up and dragging. I've already checked the other side. I don't need to go over there and do that with you also. But anyway, so we're going to go ahead and take this uh, caliper off here and we're going to go through it and, and give it a look-see over. There's a, a little bit of grooving, very minor, kind of normal wear, a little bit of a uh, glaze on the rotors, some material transfer, nothing big. We'll probably sand those guys up and that'll help it out. And then uh, maybe do like a loop and chamfer on this guy. But anyway, um, I'm going to take it on here and uh, we'll uh, get it torn apart and then we'll get back into it again because I can't just sit here and make a video and not get work done. So um, stand by. Okay, so I got this here uh, caliper taken off and um, oh dang, oh dang light. Uh, as you can see, there is all kinds of brake material on here, so we know that it does not need a brake job. Um, and like I said, I've already inspected the other side, so I'm kind of just doing a once over. Don't need to give you the twofer. Um, but anyway, so uh, this here uh, caliper, it's got uh, the hardware spring on here that keeps the tension. Do not forget putting that back guy back on there. Um, you can use a screwdriver. Oh, this is one handed. This is going to suck. Oh, go thing, go thing. Oh man, you guys are making it difficult. So you can pop it out with your wrench or you can grab yourself a flathead or you can just uh, Mr. Cho it and, and manhandle it off there if you got to. Oh, because <clears throat> one handed with the prying device is kind of kind of tough. So anyway, okay, there we go. That's just gonna make it fall apart now. <clears throat> Get out of there. So, on these brake pads here, uh, there's a, no lubrication on any of these guys, so it, it's pretty dry. That can cause part of the squeal. Um, a big thing to, to, is these pads are, um, see the square face on these guys? Oh, wrong way. So, oh dang. Mr. Cho, this here. So, uh, you've got this square edge right here. So, when you are, um, uh, driving and you get like a squeal uh these this can the square edge can um even though most brakes come with it can cause a chatter um and uh and the and the without the lube and stuff it, they can go and kind of vibrate a little bit and get give you that brake squeal or the chatter um and then the hardware you know it's off but uh, oh dang oh dang So there, there's there's no lubrication on anything. So that lubrication helps dampen the problem. Everything's all dry and it's rusted. Um, and you know, sometimes that's just how they are. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. In this case, the, the customer has a problem and we're trying to eradicate that problem. Um, so like I said, we're gonna do a couple of different uh, tricks on this guy to try and remedy this issue. Um, so. We're going to take and uh, do a lube and chamfer is what uh, I like to call that. And so we're going to lubricate all the, um, the moving parts here. So you've got your sliders. This is what allows the brake caliper to free float. And when you push on the brake, the piston pushes against the rotor. And then it also pulls the caliper on the other side. So you got the push pull, which is giving you your, your clamping force which uh, intends uh, you have your brakes engaging and slowing you down. So anyway, um, we're going to lubricate the sliders. We're going to um, hit these guys with the wire brush and um, we're going to get that cleaned up. We're going to put some lubrication on there because your pads, oh dang, right right here. So you're going to put brake lube right there and you're going to put brake lube right there. Don't, don't put the brake lube on here. So if somebody says their brakes are squeaking and, they, and to, to grease your brakes, uh, I've seen uh, characters put grease on here. And then hence you're putting the, the grease 
on the rotor. Um, and then that's going to give you the uh, what I call the the slippery brake, um, uh, which is the exact opposite of what you want to do because um, when you're pushing your brakes, you want to slow down. Um, you don't want to push on them and just keep on going. Um, anyway, uh, I'm rambling. So anyway, um, we're going to take some sandpaper and uh, and we're going to put a flat surface down and we're going to take this pad here instead of putting flat. Oh dang, oh dang. We're going to angle it and we're going to sand and put a bevel in this edge. And uh, it's going to give it kind of a ramping effect. Instead of having that, that square edge, it's going to be a, a taper, um, which can help with brake chatter. Um, and we're going to take some sandpaper, like some 80 grit, and just do a light scuffing and kind of hit some of the glaze off of this guy. And um, anyway, um, so as far as brake lube, you're going to put brake lube on the piston. You're going to put brake lube on the caliper itself on the inside where the pad makes contact. Like this. So you can see it's going to have brake lube right here and here. It's going to have brake lube where the piston is. And you got brake lube on the bracket itself. Here and here. Well, all four corners right there. Anyway, so... Anywhere there's a part moving, it needs to be lubricated with a, a, with a brake grease. Um, they make brake grease for brakes. So I guess people could use other grease, but I uh, kind of want to use the right tool for the right job. Anyway, um, so anyway, uh, this is Mr. Cho's uh, really long video of um, rambling and uh, uh, lubing and chamfering. So you lube everything that needs to be lubed. That'll help cut down on the vibration of the harmonics, um, which can help quiet down noise as far as squeal goes. And then chamfering the pad, like I said, um, you're taking a, a flat edge and you're putting a bevel on it, which is going to um, give it a tapered, um, a tapered edge, which is going to help cut down on chatter if you have that problem. Not all brakes have it. Some come factory with the chamfer. Not all of them do. But if you have a problem, sometimes you got to go... And, and make some changes to them. Um, every vehicle is different, and so you just gotta kind of adapt to it. And like I said, we're gonna do a light sanding on some like 80 grit. Not gonna get carried away, and just a just a you know scuff it up all the way around. And then I'm gonna do the backside also, and then um, hopefully get this customer's uh, um, uh, vehicle quit making some noise when they're backing up. It only happens in the morning time when it's cold. Uh, it doesn't do when it heats up. So. Um, we're going to see if we can get this cured up and, uh, and, and take the embarrassment away because that's what they're complaining about is, is they feel embarrassed because their car's and they're like, who is that? Oh, dang, what does that sound? Oh, anyway, uh, uh, rambling show out.